Hola! Mi nombre es Araceli León. I'm a kindergarten teacher at Monroe Elementary School, and I'm SF Loves Learning's Read Aloud Coordinator. I'm so excited to read with you all today. Recently, I co-authored a book with Mrs. Erica Burrell called What Would the World Be Without Latinos? This is the second book in a series by Mrs. Burrell, her first book titled What Would the World Be Without Black People? This series is very important to us because it honors and respects our cultures and its contributions to our society. As a Latina woman, this story really resonates with me and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Are you guys ready to read with me? Are you sure? Okay, let's go. What would the world be without Latinos? Authors, Erica Burrell and Araceli Leon. Illustrated by Erica Burrell. Good morning, class, Mrs. Burrell said to her fourth grade students. This week in our cultural diversity unit, we will be learning all about the many contributions that Latino communities have made. Did you know that parts of America used to be Mexico? In fact, California, New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona all used to be Mexican territory. The class looked at Mrs. Burrell surprised. Yes, she continued. Mexico was unwilling to sell their land, which started a war declared by the United States from 1845 to 1848. Mexico, Timothy blurted out rudely. I hate Mexicans. They always take our stuff. What stuff? asked Mrs. Burrell. My uncle says that they try to steal our land and our jobs, Timothy replied. They should all go back to where they came from. If you were listening, Mrs. Burrell replied, you would know that if Mexicans were to go back to where they came from, many of them would still be here, since many states, including California, used to be Mexican land. But since you don't appreciate the contributions of Latinos, you will get your wish. Starting tomorrow, you will wake up and experience life without Latinos. Good, Timothy thought as he left school. Timothy went home and finished his evening as usual. A bath, quick dinner, computer games, and sleep. He went to sleep so excited to wake up to a world without Latinos. The next morning, Timothy woke up to a loud moving truck leaving his home. He looked around in confusion. Hey, where am I? Timothy asked his mom. Well, honey, we live in North Dakota, she replied. What about my friends, my school, my baseball team? I don't want to move. Timothy whined while walking to his new room. Hey, Timothy, the knowledge fairy flew in and sat on his bed. Knowledge fairy, what are you doing here? Timothy asked. I understand how important black people are. I'll never wish to live in a world without them again, Timothy said proudly. I am glad you appreciate black people more, but now you are wishing you lived in a world with no Latinos, said the knowledge fairy. Yeah, Timothy smirked. My uncle thinks they're all bad people. We're better off without them. See, that's why I'm here, the fairy said. I want you to meet my sister, Ada de Sabiduría. Hola, Timothy. I'm the wisdom fairy, she said. Every time you go to interact with anything that was contributed by Latinos, I'll make sure you are unable to. Timothy rolled his eyes and pulled the covers over his head. Here we go again. Timothy woke up and got ready for school. When he got to school, he looked around and panicked. Why does everyone look like me? Well, Timothy, since we live in a world without Latino people, Mendes versus Westminster never happened, replied the wisdom fairy. Timothy was puzzled. What's Mendes versus Westminster? Well, Sylvia Mendes was a Mexican Puerto Rican girl who grew up at a time where white people and Latinos had to go to different schools because of their skin color, said the wisdom fairy. Her family thought it was unfair, so Sylvia and her family fought in court so that white, black, Latino, and all other children could go to the same school, she continued. 
This very important court case ultimately made segregation illegal in the United States. Feeling sad, Timothy left school early and went to the store for a snack. He noticed that part of the fruit section was empty. Wisdom Fairy flew in and said, Timothy, your favorite fruit is gone. Dolores Huerta, a Latina, helped start the Delano grape strike. Because of her, farmers refused to pick grapes because they were treated so poorly, said Wisdom Fairy. She made it possible for farm workers to organize and stand up for themselves. So without her, there would be no one to pick your favorite fruit. Fine, I don't need grapes anyway, Timothy replied. Timothy put his backpack on the floor and turned on his television. But the picture was only black and white. He kept changing the channel up and down, but every TV show was gray. Frustrated, Timothy threw the remote. Timothy, sang the wisdom fairy as she flew into the room. Color television was first created in 1940 by Guillermo Camarena, who was a Mexican engineer. I guess you can just imagine it's in color, she laughed. I don't need a pen or TV, Timothy said under his breath. I'll just go ride my bike. When Timothy got to the garage, he realized his bike had no tires. Don't tell me Latino people made tires too, Timothy said worried. No, not technically tires, said Wisdom Fairy. However, tires are made from rubber, and the benefits of rubber were first discovered by the Aztecs. Aztec people are the indigenous people of Mexico, so without them, tires no longer exist. Timothy had had enough. He was so overwhelmed with shame. How could he hate an entire group of people when he knew so little about them? He went to the kitchen and opened the cookie jar. There were tons of chocolate chip cookies, except they had no chocolate chips. Timothy, I have bad news, the wisdom fairy said sadly. Chocolate was first prepared by the Mayan people. Mayans are the original people from countries like Guatemala and El Salvador making chocolate a contribution from Latino people. Stop! Timothy screamed at the top of his lungs. I can't take it anymore. I miss California, Mrs. Burrell, pens, bike riding, grapes, and chocolate. Timothy started to cry as he continued. I miss complete sentences, color, television, action figures, and diversity. What's diversity? Wisdom Fairy asked. Diversity is when you live with people who look different from you, who talk differently, or who think differently. Diversity is what makes everything beautiful. And I'm sorry I didn't know that before, Timothy replied. Timothy heard a knock at the door, and he was surprised to see that his Uncle Ernie had come to visit. Uncle Ernie, I'm so glad you're here, Timothy exclaimed. There's so much to tell you. Uncle, you should not hate anyone because of how they look or where they come from. I just learned how much Latinos have done for us. Did you know California used to be Mexico or that Aztecs made rubber? So much of what we have and who we are is because of Latino culture. Wisdom Fairy said, I am glad you understand how important everyone is, including Latinos. Now you can return to your old life. Wisdom Fairy spun her wand three times. When Timothy woke up the next morning, he was back in California. He got dressed and went to school. Welcome back, Timothy, Mrs. Burrell said. Everyone that has a body is somebody. Remember that. All right, class, now take out your notebooks. Today, we will be learning about Latino creators. The end.